So hey, haven't done a video in a while. Thought I'd uh, do a quick recap on where I stand on putting my engine back together. Um, it's kind of, you know, typical fall weather, so it's been kind of crummy. I've been grounded for about, oh, it's been about three months. Just because I uh, started working on the engine, decided to pull the crank, get the crank tested, make sure that with my last engine out that uh, didn't have any damage to it. So the crank checked out just fine. No cracks, no bends, and uh, had to order some new parts. Had to kind of go back and forth with getting new connecting rods. So this is where I stand. Um, just temporarily got the heads on just to hold them in place, checking things out. Um, so yeah, I had to do a complete teardown, which is pretty advantageous because I'd already done work on the top end, got that all cleaned up. Um, so the top end was in, in great shape, you know, uh, lap the valves, get those all set. Um, but now I've had a chance to go in new bearings, you know, check out the crank. So this basically is going to zero time this engine, which is uh, great. So of course the, the question then becomes, why in the world did I have to do a complete teardown? And uh, that would be this over here. Uh, yeah, if you don't install your pistons properly, uh, this is what happens. And uh, caused an engine out. Fortunately, it happened when I was over a great big bean field and I had a nice smooth landing. So the only thing damaged was my pride. So that's easy enough. Um, and of course, why did this happen? Well, uh, I'll start with this. These are the old cylinders that I replaced, or old pistons. And uh, you can see they have a full skirt compared to this. And the way that the um, wrist pin was held in place was with nylon bushings that fit on either end here and they rested against the cylinder wall and they they wouldn't move or anything and they they held the wrist pin in just fine with these ones you can see there's a there's a groove right down in here and they require circlip um, I had a friend over here we were talking he said oh yeah I've, I've used those nylon spacers you know nylon inserts they work great and as we were going through that conversation it just got stuck in my head like a complete dumbass, <laughs> there's no better way to describe it than that, that I thought, yeah, I'll just use those nylon inserts here. But you can see that, of course, this cylinder doesn't have a spot to rest against the cylinder wall like here, or it's a piston, doesn't rest against the cylinder wall. So those nylon inserts that went in here vibrated loose, and over time they started getting worn until they finally fell out. Uh, the wrist pin then migrated slowly over this way until it got, you know, I don't know, somehow it got out of there because you can see that it would extend past the cylinder wall. But uh, it was stressing against here, finally broke, came to rest in that position, right? These pieces broke off and the engine quit in a hurry. So the engine out was purely due to my idiot mistake as a, uh, as a mechanic. So they say you learn from your mistakes. Yeah, well, I never took auto shop in high school or anything. So, yeah, you'd think it would be kind of an easy one to spot. So, nonetheless, there's the reason why. Um, like I said, it did give me an, an opportunity to do a complete teardown on the engine. So as part of that, I uh, stripped all the red paint that I had on. It was coming off anyway. Magnesium block tends not to hold paint. You can see there's some red paint residue in there still. Um, so yeah, clean that up. Um, I swapped out the oil cooler wraps. I did that before the engine out. So what used to wrap around here and come in up here, I now have swapped out with a motorcycle oil cooler. There's some debate, uh, people are saying, and I think it's uh, justifiable, I'd like to get more background on it, but by having the oil cooler wrapped around the intakes, it helps atomize the fuel and you get better fuel flow. Um, yeah, it's, I think that makes sense. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of torn on it. I do like this. You know, I was fighting a lot of problems with, with oil leaks and um, uh, one of them when I had a really bad blowout was, was due to a crack in that uh, oil tube that wrapped around the intake. So yeah, uh, let's see what else is going on. Let me show you this. I did put in a new sling seat, a little dark in here, but uh, the seat that comes with the Ultra Cub 
is uh, just a, a flat aluminum sheet. So you have a piece here with the hinge and it comes up there and you got the seat cushion. Technically, that little box underneath there, if you can see that in the plans, that is the seat. And that other piece that goes on there is uh, excess material, according technically according to the plans. So I found that that seat was just too uncomfortable. After about 20, 30 minutes, my back would start to hurt. So I'm trying this out. Need to adjust it a little bit more. But um, talk about light. <laughs> That's ripstop nylon, and it's uh, been stitched on the edges. Um, might add some some longer pieces, a couple of those across here, just to maybe reinforce that. But I'll find that out here soon enough. Uh, so that's about it, really. No other special work going on, no other modifications. Um, she's coming along nicely. Uh, I expect to have the engine done here today and doing some engine runs. Tomorrow is Friday, so between tomorrow and Saturday, get out here and run the engine a little bit, make sure everything's all set to go, give it a good one hour run on the ground at least, uh, full power, check everything out, and uh, see if I can't get some flights in, check things out. So let's see, what else we got going on? Um, boy, hard to say. We have, uh, with our flying club, we've got a uh, fly-in coming up on, what is it now, October 10th? It's the same weekend as the World Ultralight Fly-In, so we have our, our uh, camp out and fly-in down by Whitewater, Wisconsin, so that'll be fun. We also call it the Prop Roast, so we have a bonfire cookout. And anybody who broke a prop in the last year, they can bring the broken prop to the fire and sacrifice it. <laughs> Use it for, for good luck for the coming year. Um, but yeah, that's about it. So thanks for watching. Like I said, just a quick update. And as soon as I get flying, I will put that out there. So thanks, everyone. Get out there, fly off, and fly safe. We'll see you.